Hey everybody, my expect the comics and I'm back. This time I picked up a pretty cool Copper Age X-Men key. If you want to see what I picked up, stay tuned. So welcome back. Uh, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have that bell notification on. And make sure you hit the thumbs up if you like the content. So, um, like I said, I went to a comic shop last week. Went to a couple of comic shops. And this one was a shop that I hadn't been to before. There is um, like a chain of comic shops in New England called New England Comics. So I happened to be in the area, wanted to check it out. And when I looked them up, I found out that that shop was bought out early March and is now under new ownership. So sometimes it's good to go to these shops and look to see what they have. Sometimes because it's a new shop, they have some deals and new comics and just to see what they have in general to see if it's worth checking out. So I went there with my son and checked out some of the books that they had on the wall. They had some you know, new comic book day stuff. They had some trade paperbacks. They had some back issue bins. And they had a decent amount of uh, wall books. You know, so I, I looked at them and there was a nice book that, you know, caught my eye. It wasn't a book I was, you know, actively pursuing. So sometimes it's like, you know, it's nice to have, you know, want list books and goal books and whatnot. And you're like very dedicated to those books. And sometimes you kind of like overlook specific books when they're there right in front of you in the, uh, at the store. So this was one of those, ah, you know, moments. So I, uh, picked it up, looked at it and it looked super clean. Um, like I said, it is a pretty big Copper Age X-Men key. And, uh, if you haven't figured it out by now, it is Uncanny X-Men 266. And if you noticed, it's the new stand. So um, for this book, it came out, I want to say, in 1990. So um, the new stands are definitely much more desirable to get. And I had seen this book before in the wild at, you know, at walls on certain comic shops. And, you know, they were asking for like two, three hundred dollars. And I didn't even think about it twice. So I was like, I have seen them out there. I have not seen many newsstands at LCS. So this is the first time I've saw one, you know, personally. And it was a good price. So I checked it out, made sure everything was there, opened it up. It's not a Mark Jewelers. <laughs> that would have been icing on the cake. But uh, the book's in great shape. You know, I'm not the biggest X-Men fan, but Gambit's one of those few characters that I do like. So uh, I know it's a nice short video. Just wanted to say that you can still find really nice deals out there in the wild, even when these major keys are seeing really you know high spikes in value. So uh, this is it. My nice little pickup for the week, Uncanny X-Men 266, first appearance of Gambit. Um, if you like what you saw, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, Marks with the Comics. Out.